Hi, I'm Rachel's mom, and this is The Berenstain Bears and the Homework Castle by Stan and Jan Berenstain, copyright 1997. <laughs> the Berenstain Bears and the Homework Castle. If you're a bear for TV, loud music, and fun, how are you going to get your homework done? Dear parent, I regret to report that Brother Bear has fallen too far behind in his homework. Please call me yours truly, Teacher Bob. The Berenstain Bears and the Homework Castle. Mama was sitting in her favorite chair, straightening up her sewing basket when she sniffed the air and said, What's that funny smell? Papa looked up from the evening paper and sampled the air. Hmm, he said, I smell it too. It smells like garbage, said Mama. It smells like garbage. Papa sniffed again. Now, where do you suppose? I'll tell you where I suppose, said Mama, who had put aside her sewing basket and sniffed around the room. It's coming from Brother's backpack. And sure enough, there it was. There was an old banana peel, a brown apple core, and a moldy piece of bread in Brother's backpack. But that wasn't all there was in Brother's backpack. Among the books and papers was a letter. It was old and wrinkled, and it was from his teacher. Mama read it. Then she passed it to Papa. After Papa wrote, read it, he looked across the table at Brother, who was doing his homework. At least he was supposed to be doing his homework, and maybe he was, but it was hard to tell by looking at him. He had a card table set up in front of the television that was showing his favorite program, The Bear Stooges. He was listening to his boombox and talking into a cell phone at the same time. There was a game bear and a bowl of popcorn on the TV, and, oh, yes, there were some school books and a paper and a pencil, too. Uh, excuse me, young man, said Papa. Is this the Mars space station? I'll get back to you, Fred, said Brother. He put down the cell phone and turned off the boombox. I'm not quite reading you, Dad. You're not reading much of anything, according to this letter from your teacher. You may as well have been on Mars for all the attention you've been paying to your homework lately, said Papa. Letter what letter? asked Brother. This old wrinkled letter that Mama found in your backpack, said Papa. The letter may have been old and wrinkled, but its message was clear. In my backpack, said Brother, I thought my backpack was private. When something starts to smell like garbage, said Mama, it isn't private anymore. Sister Bear couldn't resist putting her two cents in. I don't see how you expect Brother to keep up with his homework. He has so many more interesting things to do. There's soccer, basketball, video games, going around like a big shot, and girls. Brother turned on Sister. Why, you little... That will be quite enough, Sister, said Papa. Why don't you go do your own homework? It's all done, said Sister. See? You call those scribbles homework, you little twerp, shouted Brother. Now, said Mama, let's everyone calm down and try to figure out what the problem is. I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is too much homework. Vocabulary homework, arithmetic homework, science homework. It's homework, homework, homework. Every subject, every day till it's coming out my ears. Aha, uh -huh, said Papa. Tell me, son, what is your homework for today? Adding and subtracting fractions and memorizing two stanzas 
of the bear stood on the burning deck. That really doesn't seem like too much homework to me, son, said Papa. Brother slumped and stared at the bear stooges who were busy hitting one another on the head. I'm not hearing any sort of explanation, said Papa. I guess that's because tonight's homework isn't really the problem. The problem is that you haven't been handing in your homework on a daily basis. You haven't been taking care of business. You've been falling behind. Gee, what's going to happen, asked Brother, as the living room phone rang. It's the BRS, said Mama. For you, Papa. Take their number and I'll call them back, said Papa. What's the BRS, asked Mama. It's the Bears Revenue Service, said Mama. They collect taxes. What's going to happen, said Papa, is that there's not going to be any more Mars Space Station. No more boombox, no more popcorn. It's just you and your homework until you're all caught up. But that'll take forever, moaned Brother. Nevertheless, said Papa, you just don't understand, said Brother, heading for the door. Where are you going? asked Mama. Just going for a walk. As often happened, when Brother had a problem and he went for a walk, his feet led him to Gramps and Grand's just down the road. Gramps and Grand could tell Brother was in trouble as soon as they opened the door. After some milk and cookies, Brother told them the whole miserable story. The telltale letter, the missed assignments, no television, the no video games, the no anything until he caught up, and he was so far behind that he'd never catch up. Oh, you'll catch up, said Gramps. Your father did. Huh? said Brother. Same thing happened with your dad when he was your age, said Gramps. Of course, there was no television then. No television, thought Brother. Wow, that would really have, that would have been like really being on Mars. We had radio, continued Gramps. We still have it, of course, but radio was like television then. It had great stories every evening. There was a Western called Bear Smoke, and Buck Bruin in the 25th century was sort of like Bear Trek is now. And your dad listened to them while he did his homework. And he was big on sports, just as you are, so he fell further and further behind. I clamped down on him, just the way he's clamping down on you. Gee, thought brother, Papa does understand. The thought that he'd gone through it all himself made brother feel a little bit better. A stranger was meeting with Papa when Brother got home. He's from the BRS, said Sister. It has something to do with taxes. Looks like it. Looks like Papa hasn't been taking care of business either. The stranger was about to leave. We'll be glad to give you a little more time, but you're going to have to catch up, he said as he left. And that's how it worked out. Brother sat on one side of the card table, and Papa sat on the other. It was a good lesson for both of them. I'm Rachel's mom. This has been the Berenstain Bears and the Homework Castle. Thanks for listening.